let's move on to the JSON creator annotation, which is used to define constructor methods. Okay, so the JSON creator annotation is used to mark a constructor or factory method to use for creating instances during deserialization. It is often used in cooperation with the JSON property annotation to specify property names. A common use case is to deserialize a JSON data string whose properties don't quite match those of the target class. We will see an example of this later on in this video. Okay, let's take a peek at the JSON we're going to try to deserialize. In this JSON snippet, we have two properties that represent an author. However, the property names don't quite match the field names in our author class. In the author class, we have fields for first name and last name. What we want to do is to map the Christian name property to the first name field of the author class, and likewise the surname property to the last name field. Okay, let's switch to the code view and examine the author class. As you can see, we have a constructor that accepts two arguments, first name and last name. These are the two arguments we want to map to the JSON data string we have just seen. Okay, so let's start by annotating the constructor JSON creator. This indicates that this constructor should be used when instantiating an instance of the object. Then we annotate the arguments using the JSON property annotation and pass each one the JSON property we want to map to each argument. Okay, now we are ready to see this working. So let's have a look at the unit test. In the unit test, we are reading the JSON data into an author class and then asserting that the first name and last name have been set correctly. Let's execute the test and check that this assertion is true. And yes, as you can see, the test has passed, meaning the first name and last name fields have been set correctly. Well, I hope you're ready for another Jackson annotation as I have one coming right up next.